What's poppin' guys? It's your host, Trunks, back at again with his videos. Today's topic is gonna be about how to grow yourself 10x. Very important video for all you guys who are trying to self-improve and become the best version of yourself, you know? We're trying to be high performance individuals, you know what I'm saying? So let's get started. The first thing, guys, in order to grow yourself 10x is schedule your days. Have a routine set in place. If you want to be a high performance individual, you're going to have to plan out your day hour by hour, you know? We don't want to be wasting time. We don't want to be consuming. We want to be producing. Because a lot of you guys, especially all of us are stuck in quarantine. All of us are like consuming way too much on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. We know, you know, you're texting girls, this and this and that. Why are you doing that? It's because you're letting your habits control your day. And usually what happens is if you let your habits control your day, you're not going to be productive. You're going to fall for the trap. You're not going to do shit. You're going to be scrolling. You're going to be consuming. Hey, it ain't bad to consume every once in a while, but if you form that as a habit, it can be chaotic, you know, because then you think about it. You're like, fuck, why am not? Why do I feel like shit? Why do I feel sluggish? Why do I feel depressed, stressed, anxious, etc. Why am I procrastinating? My dude, it's because you're not scheduling your day. You're not setting yourself up to succeed. You're setting yourself up for failure, you know? And I totally understand, like, some days you feel like shit and some days you don't know what the fuck to do. You feel like you can't, you know, there's nothing to do. But there is things to do, guys. Remember, you create your day. You create your day. You are a creator. If you don't create your day, you know what creates your day? Your habits. And those habits can be either, either you know, positive or negative. Most of the time, they're negative, though. You know, smoking weed, drinking alcohol, watching porn, uh, texting girls, FaceTiming girls, you know, fucking hours and shit. What the fuck, man? Do you really expect to be a high-performance individual, a masculine man, if you are not producing and instead consuming? Hell fucking no, guys. You're setting yourself up to failure. You're not doing the things that you're supposed to do, you know, especially guys having a set routine, a schedule is really going to help you a lot because once you wake up, you're going to know, okay, I have to do this, do this, do that, set up an appointment. I have to call this person at this time. I have to work out around this time, this and this and that. And that's going to make you feel hella good because a lot of you guys don't have schedules and then by the end of the, of the night, you kind of like feel depressed. You're like, fuck, dude, I didn't do shit today, you know? Consciously, you're thinking that shit like, fuck, dude, I should have done more shit. Fuck, I, don't, I didn't really, like, I didn't feel like I earned the sleep. You know, you want to, guys, you want to work your ass off to the point where whenever you go to sleep, whenever you go to bed, you feel like you deserve to go to sleep. That's how... That's how much you have to work your ass off because if you go to sleep and you feel regretful, you feel like you could have done more, it's because you were bullshitting throughout the whole day, you know, you were just fucking bullshitting, consuming way too much, not doing shit with your life, not evolving, not producing, not becoming the best version of yourself. So guys, number one thing I could tell you guys to grow yourself 10x is have a set schedule and a routine because if you do, bro, it's going to become second nature and next thing you know. You're doing this shit automatic like a fucking robot. And that's the type of level we're trying to strive for. Robot shit, you know? Robotic shit. Automatic shit, you know? Okay, guys. The second thing to grow yourself 10x is eat clean or eating better than what you're originally eating right now, okay? The reason why is because without a sound body, guys, you're not going to take big risks. You're not going to think with mental clarity. If anything... If you have a very dirty diet, you're always eating out, you're always eating Chick-fil-A, you're just eating bullshit, you know, all around, you're not going to feel good, bro. You're not going to feel, you know, energetic. You're going to feel sluggish, lethargic, probably depressed, and you're going to procrastinate a lot because bad food, guys, you have to understand the way you feel depends on what you eat. So if you eat like some fucking bad food, junk food, chips, Cheetos, etc. That's how you're gonna feel. You're gonna feel exactly like that, like junk food. But if you eat clean, get your broccoli and your spinach, your chicken, your eggs, uh, plant-based shit, um, 
all that shit, carrots, bananas, oatmeal, etc. You're gonna feel like that. You're gonna feel hella good. You're gonna feel like, damn, I'm a, I'm full of energy. I'm full of fucking life. Let's fucking get this day started. You guys have to understand whatever you intake, that's who you are. And that's how your insides look. So if you're eating shit all the fucking time, just imagine how your, your gut looks like. Hella fucking disgusting. Filled with poop and shit, mucus, all this fucking disgusting shit. But if you're eating clean, you're eating rather, you know, super clean, not eating too dirty. Through the inside of you is gonna look like fucking perfect. All cleaned up and shit, all those pipes are cleaned up, etc. So you guys need to understand that, hey, in order to work at a 10x level, you're going to need to eat clean. You don't always have to eat clean, like every day, but I do recommend eating clean six days out of the whole week because that's going to make a huge, huge difference in the way you feel and how your productivity levels are overall, you know? All right, so the third thing to grow yourself 10x is going to be work out, guys. Work your fucking ass off. Go cop some dumbbells. Go do some push-ups. Go do some dips, some pull-ups, some air squats, etc. A lot of you guys think like, hey, man, I don't need to work out. If anything, I feel better. I feel like shit after working out. Obviously, because you're a fucking beginner. Obviously, but as time passes, that feeling of shittiness after the workout, feeling tired, it goes away. And if anything, you get more energy out of it. Because when you work out, guys, you release dopamine. And dopamine is that good feeling, you know? Obviously, the first time you do it, you're not going to feel like amazing. You're going to be like, what the fuck is this? Your body's going to be questioning, what the fuck is going on? Why are you working out? This and this and that. But then after a week, guys, or like 21 days, after forming that hypnotic rhythm type shit, after forming it to a habit, it becomes so fucking easy and you don't even think about it and you enjoy working out. A lot of you guys fucking have this problem of being lazy and putting working out at the bottom of the list. We don't want that, guys. We want to put it at the top of the list along with, you know, having a schedule and also eating clean. Come on, guys. You really expect... To feel overall hella good. Like I'm full, I'm full with fucking energy. If you don't work out, you don't get some type of uh, fitness going on in your life. No, no, you're not. And if you do, you're fucking bullshitting. You could feel a hundred times better if you do work out. You know, a lot of you guys make excuses. I don't have the time. I don't have the, the knowledge. I'm too busy. This and this and that. For me, whenever I hear shit like that, I think of you're not about it. And if anything, you really don't want to change. And guys, along with working out, guys, you get the superficial de uh, superficial benefits, such as you look hella good. You look aesthetically pleasing to the eye. And along with that, you're going to be able to attract women. And I know a lot of my entrepreneurs, a lot of my high performance individuals want to be around women, want more dates. You guys just don't want to be focused on working all day, you know? Sometimes you want to have that time to have fun and let loose and get some women around you, you know? I totally understand that. So when you work out, bro, you're going to have more options, more dates, just because of your superficial appearance. You know, it's not all about your personality, you know? That's not how... Guys, you guys have to realize women love a masculine man. You might get brainwashed by these women like it's not all about a looks or it's not all about how good the guy looks superficially it's all about his personality guys that's a bunch of bullshit because the first thing a woman sees when she sees you is how you look your appearance your physical appearance how your eyes look your lips your biceps your legs your fucking print all right don't listen to these women listen to fucking me because i've been through this shit and i know this because i've been through it i know these women love a fucking masculine rock hard looking body and if they tell you otherwise they're bullshitting no women no women that i know wants a fucking fat dude unless that fat dude is providing something in her life like fucking traveling uh dinner dates gifts etc you know but if you you have a a very aesthetic looking body women are going to be attracted to you and most likely they're going to like you for the way you look 
And hey, that's fine. I don't really give a fuck about that. If anything, I'd rather have a woman like me for how I look than for my money, you know? Cause that's just some gold digging shit, you know? So guys, make sure you work out because not only will you feel good about yourself, not only are you gonna have a lot of energy, but you're gonna have more options with women and more dates. And that's a plus, you know, that's the cherry on top. It's not, not, it's not everything, but it's the cherry on top, you know? And the last thing guys, the fourth thing out of the list to grow yourself 10X is, listen the fuck up, is eliminate porn. And also on top of that, unfollow all women on all social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, etc. You know, and guys, if you're if you are following a woman on the social media platform, it's usually because business. You guys are into business together, you know, she's your business partner, etc. The reason why I say this is going to help you a lot is simply because we get distracted by women. You know, a lot of us don't have the mental discipline and the sexual discipline to, you know, to 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 just focus on our business. A lot of us get distracted by these women. You know, that fat asses, fat tits, pretty face, curvy body, small waist. I know, I love that shit too, guys. I love seeing, you know, seeing shit like that. But ultimately, guys, at the end of the day, that's not what's gonna make me money. Unless she's a business partner and, you know, I'm using her for my business, then that's totally different. But if you're a normal dude or you're a dude who, you know, don't use women like that, like for business, Bro, you shouldn't be following any women at all. If anything, subconsciously you do that because you want to fuck them. You know, you follow them because you want to fuck them. You want to dig their guts out. And that's male nature. I totally understand this. So you need to have the discipline to not follow these chicks, you know. And, and I totally understand that if you have a business, you f usually follow people back. Sure. But don't get caught up scrolling looking at the bitch's fucking feed. Because you're just fucking yourself up, guys. You're brainwashing yourself like, fuck, man, I really want to fuck this girl. Damn, she looks hella good, this and this and that. Now, in moderation, it's not bad. But, guys, I know a lot of you guys are be like consuming on the phone, just watching girls. Just scrolling on their feed, liking their shit. Probably even fucking busting nuts to their photos, you know? And, hey, you do you. But, personally, me, I don't do this shit now because... I feel like I get super distracted and if anything, subconsciously, I start thinking about bitches way too much instead of my business, you know? Guys, as men, it's not bad to think about women. It's not bad to be lustful over women. What is bad is that controlling your urges and controlling your brain capacity, your brain space. That's when it's bad. But if you have control of whether or not you want to think about her or think about bitches, hey, perfect. But usually, guys, a lot of you guys have these bad tendencies to 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 think about women way too much. You know, 99% of your brain space is women, 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 and only 1% is about fitness, nutrition, uh, scheduling your day, eliminating porn, etc. A lot of you guys might think, "What the fuck is this guy talking about?" Like trunks. Come on, dude. You're really telling us to unfollow women and you know, they're distracting us. Yes, I am telling you that. It's facts. And you know it too. You know it too. Like, guys, as men, as men, if we don't have control of our, of our urges, then we're fucked. You know? That's why I always say, you know, eliminate porn. You need to eliminate porn because that's reprogramming the way you think. So... If you guys don't know already, porn creates social anxiety. You start feeling depressed. You start being fucking feeling anxious, etc. There's a lot of fucking cons from watching porn. And it gets even deeper than that. But obviously, I'm not going to cover it in this video because shit, it will take me like two hours just to explain that shit. But just know, guys, you guys need to eliminate porn also because that's reprogramming the way you think. And if anything, you're not going to function at your highest, you know? And along with that, you need to follow all women on social media platforms because you are getting distracted by these women. These dimes, these sevens, these fives, these eights. You know? Control your urges, guys. I swear to God. You're going to feel like a man and you're going to have power. 
You're gonna feel like a fucking man. You're gonna feel like a ruler. You're gonna feel like, damn, I am a fucking king, you know? So that's it for this video, guys. Those are the four things in order to grow 10X, you know? First thing is schedule your day, have a routine, eat clean, work out, and the last thing is eliminate porn, unfollow all women on social media, all right? So that's it for this video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Free case study down below if you're looking for a high performance coach to guide you to the right steps in order to grow your business exponentially. All right, guys, link is in the description. Follow me on Instagram, lord.trunks. And y'all already know what the fuck going on, man. Have an amazing, productive day, G. Boom.